Hi guys, check out MuleFactory.com for the cheapest around of Foot21 coins. They're brand new out now, obviously the prices will change every day due to the fact that obviously the FIFA has just came out, so don't take these prices for gospel, but they do the safest comfort trade around guys, all legit and will be fast orders. Obviously bear with them at the start because there will be a lot of orders, but use the checkout code down below of Owen FIFA to get yourself a discount. Thank you. Hey guys, what's going on today and welcome back to a brand new video guys. Today I'm going to be showing you first of all how to trade from 25 to 50k. So the first method is going to be for me is going to be now starting to think about the team of the week. So let's say for example, we go in here and put in let's say 40,000 coins and 25 in here, get two and a half, whichever. But, um, ideally, we don't want that. Um, we want 25. So you now want to start looking at these informs. You want to start figuring out which one's going to be good to trade with. Obviously, hopefully as time goes on, more and more players will come on the market. So let's say Iniesta right now. This guy is at 15k apparently. Like, literally so cheap and he's 84 rated. But the problem is here, you'd normally I'd be like, yeah, go buy them. But no, you don't you don't want to. You want to find these sort of players ready for at some point if an SPC comes out where you require an inform or something and then get on them. Like that's what you want to do is you want to leave everything like that for now. Like you don't want to be thinking about informs too much. I know people start to think about them. That's why I wanted to bring that up. But you want to start looking at now the more expensive sniping players. So let's say for example Wilfred Zahar. This guy is probably around 15k my guess is maybe he's probably decided to rise loads. No he, I was right. It just wasn't quite showing yet. So let's see Wolf of Zaha is 14.750. You want to now be picking them up at like 13.5 um, around that sort of price. You want to be sat here sniping away like this, first of all. This is the first method. So pick players like Zaha, um, let's say Joe Gomez. I don't know how much he is at Alejandro. Um, Joe Gomez. I'd say he's around 20. I might be totally right, wrong here. He might be too up with loads. No, he is still in the bracket of like 40k then, so that's okay. Um, so let's say here 36k for Joe Gomez, he'll probably be down like 32 tomorrow. Um, you want to be sniping at like 34. Obviously, you can only buy once and you want to go to a cheaper player. Like It's about this now, maintaining your coins and then getting an expensive player and you can make a couple of k on. And then also, when you do that, go back to one of the old videos and do the 5 or 10k trading methods. Go stick with them as well. And then obviously there is also other things you can do with rare, and then you also want to try this. So rare. Um, so say you've done that now, you've only got a few coins left. You want to go rare prem, and you want to go to a K. Say so you've only got two K left now, three K. You want to also put gold in, then go back to put rare in because it's the most annoying thing in the world. There we go. So let's see Gwen Doozy here. That's a bargain, I think. Gwen Doozy. Let's have a look. Um, two four. There we go, like literally Gwendoosie is literally 1.7, yeah let's go 1.7k overnight, so that is a perfect example of just the sort of card you want to buy. But you want to drop this down to like 850 and you want to sit and snipe them and try and pick deals up on these cards. Now let's see you have a few k left, you want to go buy those big players then go and do this, so this is the perfect sort of example right now. Um, when Doozy, I mean, he made you 700 coins quick, it gives you a chance to go buy another two cards after this. So, well, say you only have 1k left, you bought Gwen Doozy, you now got 1.7, you can drop it down to 850 by two cards. Um, this is way more like common in the day, it's difficult at night to do this, so as you can see, it's um, not really that lively. But you see, Moses there, we'll list him up for a k. It's only 100 coins profit, but it's 100 coins more than we had sitting there waiting for your expensive player to sell. That's what you've always got to do. People do this. They make this mistake. They just sit there and don't do anything. Whereas like, you can sit in, that's 200 coins. Like, yeah, every time he buys five expensive players, you made up an extra K, which you didn't have before. People just don't think of it like that. And it really is the way to do it. Like, to never actually stop trading. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, that'll do me very nicely. I know he's 1.3. I've traded with him about 100 times. So, we'll go and list him up for 1.3. But yeah, you kind of see at the moment, for some reason, they've suddenly got really good again. Um, okay, um, I don't know what's happened, but um, this literally went dead earlier, I was doing it on stream. Um, so yeah, there we go, um, we'll try and do two more searches um, for you there. We'll try and get one more in there, um, but nothing else is coming up. We'll show you the results now already, after a few seconds, one's already sold on. So Victor Moses has sold on for a K there. Um, nice little sale, and um, there's still plenty more. So, hope you enjoyed this video. There you go, Wesley's gone as well, and I will see you all next time with a brand new video.